Animal Kingdom Lodge. Today I'm taking you on a day in our lives at Disney. It was just my birthday yesterday, so we're here celebrating, and today we are headed to none other than Magic Kingdom. I woke up at 7 a.m. and got us on the Tron queue. We're like group 39 or something, so we need to get to the park. It's about 10 a.m. because we ended up sleeping in. I've done Disney my whole life, so I didn't feel like running around this morning, although we did think about it. I think our running around is going to be tomorrow when we want to get Animal Kingdom and Epcot done in one day. I am wearing, of course, a Rapunzel inspired outfit. I've got my little Rapunzel ears with my Pascal. So it's got the gold, the purple, the pink. So I've got the yellow, like the gold top, and pink shorts. So it's a little light and bright, kind of purpley -ish shoes and purple socks. So I feel like I'm all matchy matchy, ready to go. I'm gonna go see if we can go see any animals this morning and then we're gonna head off to the parks. Okay, let's see what we can find. Got some elk like creatures. I don't know, I gotta ask. We've got plenty of little animals right here. We've got two giraffes. I don't know if you can see them. I, the screen is too bright for me to point, but they're back over in the trees. We've got the giraffes. Other animals just on the savanna. Oh, they're so cute. It is a warm day outside. That is a very good sign. The bus is here. Look how cute it is. We're headed to Magic Kingdom. 11 minutes later from the resort and we have made it to Magic Kingdom. That's the one perk of staying at a resort is that you don't have to go to the transportation and ticket center and get on a monorail. We're here at Magic Kingdom. Our Tron group is loading pretty soon. We're 39, which I was pretty shocked by, and they're going up to 32 right now. So we have about seven more groups in front of us. Awesome Lots Coffee. I brought a Celsius, so we'll kind of like have a little drink and then we'll get going to Tron. Here we are. It's fairly empty for a Tuesday at 11 a.m., but maybe also this is exactly what it usually looks like on a random February Tuesday at 11 a.m., but I feel like there's just way less people walking around here. There she is in all of her glory. I just love the castle. That's an FYI, the Tomorrowland Joffrey's line is so long. It took forever to get Austin a coffee. I cracked up in my Celsius. And surprisingly, our Tron reservation is not ready yet. We're still at group 35, but our Haunted Mansion Genie Plus is ready. So we're heading over to do Haunted Mansion as the first ride of the day. I think it's pretty fitting because it's my favorite ride here. Look who we spotted here in Magic Kingdom. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness, they're so cute. I love them. Ah! <laughs> here we are, my favorite ride here in Magic Kingdom. <laughs> classic, a classic, and my favorite here, I don't know what it is, but ever since I was a little girl, just absolutely love the Haunted Mansion. Now we're in search for a snack or food or something before our Tron. They're still not boarding group 39, they're only up to group 35 still, but it's a smaller window, it's like group 34 to 35, so I'm hoping that they'll expand it and take 39 pretty soon, but I guess we'll see. Chicken tenders at Magic Kingdom for the win. Cheers. We are back in Tomorrowland because while we were eating at Columbia Harbor House, we got the notification that our Tron group is ready. We're getting ready to go ride Tron. Like I said, woke up early, got us on the free virtual queue this morning, and finally it's time for group 39. All right, we're over here, and here we go on the Tron ride. If you don't know, the ride comes up and out over here. I don't know if it's gonna come anytime soon, but it's really cool. Remain seated on your light cycle at all times. Keep restraints securely fastened. Super Wait. Putting everything in a locker, so see you later. Yep, that was amazing. I forgot how fast that it goes at takeoff. I looked over at us and we were both just like, ah! Such a fun ride, such a fun ride. Definitely worth it if you can get in the virtual queue for free. I turned to Austin and I go, I'm so glad that we didn't have to pay $20 per person to ride it, even though it was so fun. Free is for me. It's now game time decision to see what we do next. GD Plus, I think that starts at 1.05 and it's one o'clock right now for Pirates of the Caribbean, so I think we might head over there. I love the little shows at the castle. We're just walking by on our way over to Adventureland! Hey! Send in here! 
Oh boy, I am excited for this ride to open this summer. Look, I've already got a lot of things changed. It looks just so pretty and flowery. I love it. We were gonna ride Ariel's Little Mermaid Under the Sea ride and we got the Fast Pass for it. We went over there and they're temporarily closed. They don't know for how long. So I think what we're gonna do is check out the shops on our way out and take a little bit of a break, go back to the hotel, recharge, maybe grab a drink, something like that because it's not even two o'clock and we still have the whole day ahead of us. We don't need to like rush through Disney or anything. So we're gonna take a little bit of the afternoon chill. So those were our rides for the morning portion and now we're gonna head back to the resort. What do we think? I just saw a girl with this sweatshirt on. This is embroidered. It's got all the little parts on the back here. Is it cute? I don't know, I can't decide. I also think that this lounge fly is adorable. Look at it. It's got a haunted mansion. It's got Pirates of the Caribbean on. It's got all kinds of rides, but I think it's so dang cute. We're over at the pool bar at our resort because we came to get a drink and some food. Our food's gonna come out right over here. I ordered a shrimp Caesar salad. Also got a short rib grilled cheese. We're just enjoying a little bit of the sunshine. There's so many kids out here by the pool. I forget that like part of the Disney Resort it's just like people hanging out by the pool, but it looks so fun. A little addition to the plans, after we got food and drinks, we decided we we're gonna go to Animal Kingdom this afternoon because the wait time's are like five minutes, 10 minutes. We have the Genie Plus for all the parks. So I already booked it for Expedition Everest. We booked a Genie Plus Lightning Lane for the Avatar Flight of Passage, and it's only five minutes away for the safari. So that is what we are here to do at Animal Kingdom so that we don't have to wake up as early tomorrow to be able to knock it out. I don't even know what I'm saying, but we are going to enter Animal Kingdom right here and have ourselves the rest of an afternoon. Animal Kingdom closes at 6 p.m. right now, so it is 4.21. We've got an hour and 40 minutes to have some fun in this park. The Discovery River. It's our friend from Disney Pixar. Oh, We've made it over for our Fast Pass for the Yeti. Really, nobody over here. It's only a 15 minute wait if you actually wait, but we had it, so we said might as well. I think we're gonna be walking right on. Oh my goodness. Attention Expedition Everest team members. Once on board, secure all gear in the cargo bag in front of you. For your safety, remain safe. This Yeti Lounge Fly. Are you kidding me? That is the cutest thing. And it's so soft. Oh my gosh. Every time I just love to look at the tree. Oh, this makes me want to watch Lion King so bad. So beautiful over here. We got a lightning lane for the safari, which is probably one of my favorite things to do here. I don't know, it's tied between that and Pandora, which we have after this. But we are heading on the safari. It's a little bit of like a late afternoon safari because it is five o'clock. We're gonna see what kind of animals we can see. And I'm just really excited. Austin hasn't done this before. And something about like the wild animals and the safari and animal kingdom, it's just perfect. <laughs> We see some giraffes. We can jump up to eat. Oh my goodness. They're building a building. Big Al. Roll the tide. <laughs> Big Al number two. Oh, he's so cute. Yep. There's three head file trucks. The lions are out. There's the male. Can't really see what he's sleeping in the female. Yeah, I 
We have made it over to Pandora. We are about to head over to our lightning lane for Avatar. I've not been in this ride in so long. I've actually only ever been once because the wait time is always so long. But we splurged and we bought the individual lightning lane. I bought it. I said, Austin, I've never ridden it. I'm going to treat us. We're going to get the lightning lane for it. And so we are ready to go. It started at 525. It's 533. And this will be our last ride of the day here at Animal Kingdom. That's so backlit. But look. Oh. Like seriously, look how cool this is. And we're going to get on. Here's our ride right here. Thank you. Challenge. Good luck. All right. You ready? Here we go. What a great way to end the day. And all of our rides, Pandora Avatar Flight Passage ride is so, so, so good. It's not one of those ones you could ride back to back. I was like, oh, I have a little bit of a headache after that ride, but still so good. Feels like you're there. It just makes you want banshees to be real and for that experience, like be real life. But it's just a little slip away from reality in four and a half minutes. But now we're gonna make our way out of this park because it is officially closed. The park closed at six today. It's 6.07. So we are heading back over to Animal Kingdom Lodge where we're staying and then we're game planning dinner, drinks, whatever we're doing tonight. We're not going to go back to Magic Kingdom, we decided. We're done with parks for the day because we're also going to do some parks tomorrow. So we are headed back to figure out what the rest of our plans are. Back in the room and oh boy, it got dark in here. How do I turn on the lights? <sighs> okay, so we're obviously back in our room. I think that I'm gonna hop in the shower because I'm just feeling looking gross. We've talked about maybe resort hopping to go get a drink, to go get some dinner. We're not ready right now, so we said, okay, maybe we'll both shower, I'll dry my hair, we'll go over to another resort and just hang out for the night. Like I said, we have no plans of going back to the parks because, you know, we just said, eh, we did a lot of parks today and we're just good. We've seen the fireworks so many times and I have seen the happily ever after back, so I don't feel like I'm missing out on much. So I think the goal is to take a shower and then make a plan of where we want to go for maybe dinner and a drink different hotel same hotel i'm not sure i'm maybe thinking polynesian but we're gonna have to see what's available but first a quick shower because it's just ew, i just feel like i need to hop in dinner time we are headed over to the polynesian resort we made a reservation over at kona cafe and we're gonna go grab a drink at trader sam's after i got on a cute dress cute outfit and then it's too dang cold outside so i threw on this sweatshirt and a tennis skirt so that's kind of all i have same shoes from earlier but we are getting on our way over to the polynesian and we're gonna go check it out. I've actually never been in that resort before. So you guys are going to come and see it with me for the first time. They've already said aloha to us twice. Look. We're not even inside yet. What we're walking into. Oh. Wow. Look at this place. It's so pretty. We're upstairs. Obviously this is the lobby. It's amazing. And then here we are at Kona Cafe. So we're just going to be sat. We're eating dinner here, just a little casual dinner. They brought us over Hawaiian rolls to start. And they're so good. They brought over butter. Oh my goodness, devouring. Also, quickly, we decided to come over to the Polynesian Resort because we wanted to try out something different. There are other food options at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, especially at Jumbo House. But we decided let's go see another resort, let's go try another type of cuisine and just go check it out over here. So that's why we ended up over here. There's plenty of stuff to do over at our resort. We just wanted like a little bit more of best of both worlds. We get to try a bunch of different things while we're here. And we'll settle on the Polynesian. I got a rainbow roll, sushi roll. Austin got the burger, the french fries that I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up sharing. And we're gonna enjoy our dinner. Taking a little stroll through the gift shop before our ride gets here. So many cute little things that they have just for this resort. With the Dole Whip, I love it, it's so cute. One of the main reasons we also chose the Polynesian was because of Trader Sam's, which is the cutest bar ever here. It's like a little tiki bar. And we went and the lady was like, I'm so sorry, tonight is so packed. There's 18 people on the walk-up list. She's like, we're open till 11.30. We're like, um, it's 9.20 right now. We just don't think that that's gonna be possible. So unfortunately, we're not getting a drink at Trader Sam's and we're just gonna head back over to our resort. It's just a little bit of a bummer, like, ah, uh, cause we did 
didn't end up Ubering over here because of everything with uh, getting over on a bus and timing and we just decided it would be a lot easier and we didn't even end up getting to do it. So, oh well, you live and you learn, but definitely next time. So if you're also thinking of going to Trader Sam's, make sure that you do the walk-up list because we definitely goofed on that one. One thing I will say I love about this resort is all of the imported African art that they have around here. I think this is so cool. This is one of the little divots in the hallway, I guess, that we pass by on the way to our room. You can just kind of see everything. There's fun stuff, quotes on the wall. I just think the theming and this kind of stuff is so special. Okay, now I'm in the hallway over by our room and look at what I'm seeing on the wall. I just wanted to show you guys this. The cycle of African life is that a lot of these sculptural objects mark the time of events and stages of life. That's so cool, there's eight cycles of life themes. Here are some of the ones just on our fourth floor. Oh man, I just love this stuff. We are back in our hotel room getting ready to relax for the rest of the night. We had such a fun time over at the Polynesian Resort and honestly, such a great day today, although my feet are hurting. It has been a very long day. So we're gonna go to bed and I'm gonna sign off. And that marks the end of my little vlog of our Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom today. We're actually just about to check out of the Animal Kingdom Lodge this morning. We're gonna head over to Epcot for the start of the Flower and Garden Festival, which I'm not gonna vlog because we're only going to be there just for a little bit to ride Guardians of the Galaxy, check out a couple flower and garden stands, and then we have to head back to Tampa for real life to begin again. Thank you guys so much for watching, for following along. Thank you for all the birthday wishes, everybody, because obviously this is my birthday trip, but I've just been getting nonstop sweet messages from you guys, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful for all of you. I love you so much. If you're new here, make sure that you subscribe down below. I'm kind of a mix of everything these days, but travel, lifestyle, books, and of course Disney is always just part of my life and also you guys can follow me on my other social medias if you're interested we are about to head over to epcot wearing this cute little outfit and i'll see you guys in the next one bye, bye.